Good morning, friends. Happy Vlogmas Day 3. Just got home not too long ago from the gym, and I just made myself a little snack plate, so I'm going to munch in on that, and then I feel like a hot mess right now because I'm so sweaty, and my hair needs washed, and I'm just like in my workout clothes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to take a shower before Luke wakes up from his nap and um, freshen up and then give you guys a closet tour today and then also set up the hot cocoa bar because it's Friday and Selena's been begging me for hot chocolate. So um, she asked this morning if the cafe was going to be ready after school. So that's something I need to get done before I get her. Just set up all these poinsettias outside. Also have my Waterloo, the cranberry flavor. It's actually really, really yummy. Okay, before I get in the shower, I'm gonna real quick show you guys all the things I got for the hot cocoa bar. So we have this banner that I actually made last year at the Cricut. These are just empty glass jars that I've reused. I like how they're all matching with the white tops and I might also for some type of design to put on top with the Cricut, we'll see. These are the mugs that I'm using. I got all of these last year. Um, those two are from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have them this year. I haven't noticed, I haven't really been to the Dollar Tree much. This one I got from Target. This little espresso glass I've just had for years. Like honestly, I don't have any idea where it came from. And then I got this last year to set up the bar and um, we're gonna use it to add a little height. And then I have all the goodies. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate all these, but um, somehow we're gonna make it work. I actually picked up these two, which really don't have anything to do with the hot cocoa bar, but I figured I would add them to the mix here. Um, yeah, so we got this for the hot cocoa. Um, the tin was pretty cool, I liked it. And then we have lots of marshmallows. These are left over from Thanksgiving actually, so I know Selena really likes those, but I know she'll really get a kick out of that. And then we have chocolate stir sticks, which I think will create hot chocolate without having to use the powder. I don't exactly know. And then these probably are gonna be more so for Derek and I because we really like the um, the peppermint and I don't know if Slinda's gonna be a huge fan of that. And then we just got some candy canes and these I found at Aldi and they're just so cute. I saw that Trader Joe's had something similar, so when I saw these at Aldi's, I was pretty excited. I'm also gonna try and incorporate these. Okay, just finished getting ready. I didn't get to wash my hair because um, Luca woke up and I was just not gonna mess with that. It was gonna take too long. So um, here's the look of the day. These little jeans, this little tank that I got from Target. All right, it is finally time to set up the hot cocoa bar. Or cafe, as Selena would call it. <laughs> It's like a perfect fit. That's amazing. Okay, so I messed around with it and I transferred all the marshmallows and I put the hot cocoa in an old jam jar. I'm actually kind of loving this because all the jars were just reused from previous things. And I have the little gingerbread Ming cookies back there. 
And I'm just gonna put some gingerbread Nespresso pods in there so I can still leave my Nespresso there. So I have the forest fruit flavor, which is pretty yummy. I wasn't sure about it. Um, so we'll throw that in there since that's sort of like a Christmas one. Then we have the gingerbread, which is also really good, but in my opinion, not as good as the pumpkin spice. And I'll probably have to refill that every day because it only fits four, but it works. And I really do want to make stickers, but we'll see if I really have the time or um, the will to do that. Here's our first cup of cocoa. That was really fun. That's like my favorite Christmas tradition that we started. I know I told you guys earlier though that I'm gonna give you a closet tour and I'm actually super excited to share my closet because I designed it and I built it myself and it was a lot of work and a labor of love, but it turned out amazing. And I got everything from Ikea, although it was a struggle because a lot of things were out of stock. So I really had to um, improvise, but luckily I snagged everything that I needed and I'll go through it all and I'll show you guys exactly what I used. Link it all below. And if you have any questions about it, you can comment or um, follow me on Instagram and DM me there. I'm always on Instagram. The first thing I did was paint the door and install some new matte black hardware. Also over there. The only thing about this is the door should be swinging open this way, but I didn't want to go through the trouble of like, yeah, switching it around. So when we open up the closet, on this side, I have the PAX units with a Billy bookcase in the middle and the baseboards I actually installed myself. And then when we go inside, I have the Billy bookshelves, two of the larger ones and one of the smaller ones on this side with shelving on the bottom for, you know, um, denim, pants, those are all mine. And then I have my sweaters over here. And then I installed these hanging racks. Those are actually not from Ikea because they're out of stock. So I got those from Lowe's. They're about the same price though. I did the exact same thing to keep this symmetrical on this side. So um, in the middle we have shoes, going up into purses. And on the very top, I even have these extra storage spaces, which I don't really have anything to put there at the moment. And then on this side, I put the hanger as high as we could go for coats and dresses. And then I decided to design it with a pant hanger for my pants and my husband's work pants, which I really like to keep things um, tidy, unwrinkled. And then in the middle, we also did a Billy bookcase all the way down with shoes in for bags, which is what I had in mind. And then you can see here like this screw. I had to combine these together because this bookshelf is a lot. Um, it's not as deep as this PAX wardrobe system. So this is securing it and I did another one on this side as well. And then on this side, um, I have just like random boxes, shoe boxes, coats, jackets, sweatshirts, like all the stuff I'm wearing now. And then this is probably my favorite part. I'm gonna go over here so I can show you better. I designed it with three regular drawers and two glass front drawers so you can kind of see the accessories. Um, they're not organized very well, but on the top we have belts and scarves and then we have my hats and then on the following drawers we have t-shirts tank tops like really casual like comfy stuff swimsuits which looks like a hot mess and then i just have like additional storage these are all the maternity clothes that i wore i'm just saving them and you know in case i am blessed with another child someday and then this is probably my favorite part it's a slide out accessory tray 
which has all my jewelry. Well, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. I'm going to put my sunglasses over there, which I can't seem to find quite a few pairs of them, but I have faith I'll find them. And then everything is designed with soft clothes with these. So that's a really bougie feature, in my opinion. And then looking down, we have a little rug that I grabbed from Home Goods. Just really simple. I'm going to put that up top. I just I need a stool and I haven't drug one in here. Then I was debating whether to leave this um, blank or put a mirror, but I don't think I'm going to put a mirror because it's just too, these shirts come out too far. So, but yeah, guys, this is it. My custom built-in closet. I love it. I'm honestly just like so proud of it and just like I'm obsessed. Okay, so I need to wrap this up so I can go ahead and get a start on making dinner and um, entertaining the kiddos for a while and getting along with the evening. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions about the closet system, reach out to me here on Instagram, whatever. I will give you all the details that I can. And I hope you have a really awesome rest of your night and a really good weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye, guys.